any symbol. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing binary operations. Alright, so what are binary operations? So they are simply operations that ask us to do something to two numbers to combine them to make a third number. Right? So sometimes your any symbol can be used really. Normally when we're doing operations, the basic operations in arithmetic, for example, would use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, right? In binary operations, so you will be given two variables or however number of variables, right? The operation itself can be any symbol. So an asterisk, a triangle, a circle, any symbol can be used. But they are going to tell you, give you an expression, and they're going to give you numerical values that you're, so basically it's a kind of substitution. You're going to actually substitute the numerical values into the variables, right? That's basically what we're doing. So they're saying an operation is defined by A asterisk B. Um, 6A plus 7Y. Sorry, 7B. So what this means is we're going to substitute because they say for A, 2 asterisk 7. You're going to substitute. Wherever you see A, you're going to substitute 2. Wherever you see B, you're going to substitute 7. That's all you're doing, right? So... We're going to put our brackets, as usual, for the substitution. So 6a plus 7b, using, since the a is given first and then the b, and the 2 is given first and then the 7, so we're substituting 2 for a, 7 for b. So it will be 6 times 2 plus 7 times 7, and that's 12 plus 49, that's 61. So we have combined the two terms to get one final answer. Now since 2 asterisk 7 is 61, and these are asking us to work 2 asterisk 7, we can actually just substitute that 61. We could do it all over again, because if you are given three terms with two brackets, then it means work these first. So it would mean substitute 2 for A, 7 for B, and when you get that answer, substitute that for A and 3 for B. Or in terms of here, when you get that answer, substitute 4 for A and this answer for B. Whichever is given first, you substitute it in the first one and the second into the second one. So since we already worked out that 2 asterisk 7 produces 61, we're just going to replace this with 61. So 61 is now A, and B is 3. We're going to plug that in here now. So 6 times 61 plus 7 times 3. 616, 66 is 36. 73 is 21, and that gives us 387. 387. So again, we have 2 asterisk 7, we can just substitute the 61. So now where A is, we're going to put 4, and where B is, we're going to put 61. So it's 6 times 4, plus 7 times 61. 6, 4 is 24. 7, 1, 7, 7, 6 is 42. And this gives us 4 plus 7, 11. 2, 1, 2, 4, 1, 5, and 4, 51. Alright, so here we have another binary operation. This time, the operation is represented by a triangle. Like I said, we can use any symbol to represent the operation. And they're telling us where to square x, square y, subtract them, and find the square root. This should be familiar to you, that is Pythagoras' theorem. Finally, we're going to multiply those terms by 3. So the 3 is not cube root, it's 
a big three on front, right? All right, so we're substituting 10 for x and 8 for y. So that means 3 times the square root of 10 squared minus 8 squared, 3 times the square root of 100 minus 64, 3 times the square root of 36, 3 times 6, which is 80. All right, again, we have 13, the same operation. So x is 13, y is 12. We're going to substitute those values into this operation here. So 3 times the square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared. So that's 3 times 169 minus 144. 3 times the square root of 25, which is 5, 3 fives are 50, right? So now we have x, and the operation here is represented by a circle, and a symbol can be used. So a circle, and this denotes negative 10x plus y. So wherever, and they give us 2, 4. So wherever x is, we're going to substitute 2, and wherever y is, we're going to substitute 4. So that would mean negative 10 times 2 plus 4. That's negative 20 plus 4, which is negative 16. All right, so since we already worked the 2 to 4, to this symbol 4, and we know that 16, so now the 16 is going to be substituted for x, and the 5 is substituted for y. So it will be negative 10 times 16 plus 5, that's negative 160 plus 5, which is negative 155. And finally, now this, the bracket tells us work this first, right? That's what the bracket is saying, work this first. So they are saying work x as 4 and y as 5 first. And when you get that answer, you're going to then work x as 2 and y as whatever this answer is. So let's work these two first. So x is 4, y is 5. So that's negative 10 times 4 plus 5. Negative 40 plus 5, that's negative 35. So now x is 2 and y is negative 35. So negative 10 times 2 minus 35. Plugging it into the operation there. Negative 20 minus 35. So the final answer is negative 55. So then. Binary operations are really a kind of substitution. We're given an operation and any symbol can be used to represent that operation. We're also given an expression in which to substitute the values to make that operation. In other words, they're saying do this to the values to get a final answer. So whichever one is listed first, you're going to substitute the numerical value that's listed first. The one that's listed second, substitute the numerical value for that one. And if you're given three or four or any number of operations, look for the brackets. The bracket is telling you where these two first, substitute these two first as the, the first given variable and the second given variable. When you get that answer, you're going to substitute again the final answer must be the first variable. The second um, numerical value is the second variable. Right? So look for which one is bracketed first. Then I bracket the two last ones, which means work these two variables, these two numerical values, into the variables first. And when you get that answer, then you go, and this will be the first, and that answer will be the second. And you just plug them in 
and work towards your final numerical value. Because remember, we're combining the numbers to get one final answer. That's the, the binary operation. All right, so if you have been helped by this video, just drop a line to say thank you and please share the video so others may benefit from it. And as usual, if you have not subscribed, I'm asking you to subscribe and let me know if you want me to do videos on any particular topic. I will gladly do that for you. So my scholars, remember to practice your math. Practice, practice, practice. You must practice your math. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.